Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install MariaDB version number 11 on Debian Linux 12. But the process is same for all Debian versions. Click on activities, then open search for terminal. Go to the terminal, verify whether we have the MySQL or MariaDB installed or not. sudo systemctl status MySQL D. See, you don't have the MySQL D service or you can also check the MariaDB's service. Okay, so we will install MariaDB. Click on activities, open Firefox, maximize it, go to MariaDB.org. Click on OK. See, see the latest table version is 11.3.2, but 11.4 is the release candidate. Okay. So, click on download. See, we can download the package, but I am going with MariaDB server repositories. Select the distribution Debian 12, then select the version. Then, see, these are the commands to install the MariaDB server. So, copy one by one, copy this one. It is going to install apt transport HTTP and call application. Right click, paste it, hit enter. It is success now. Copy it is just importing the repository case. Okay, control L to clear screen, paste it, hit enter. It is done now. Copy this entire line, right click, copy, paste it, hit enter. It is done. See, we have to create this file in this directory. Okay, so copy it sudo vi, then paste that, paste it. Then I2 insert mode, press I and copy all these, copy it, right click, paste it, save the file. If you are not comfortable with VI, use the nano editor and hit enter, it is done. Now we have to update the packages, yeah, here we have to update it, copy this one, paste it, hit enter. Updation done. Now install the MariaDB 11.3. Control L to clear screen sudo apt get install MariaDB hyphen server. Okay. See, this is the command. Okay. Same one. Hit enter. Type way for confirmation and hit enter. See, we have successfully installed control L to clear screen. Now verify again sudo systemctl status MariaDB. See, now we have the service before we don't have the MariaDB service. And also see here the status service is running and it is enabled. Okay, Q to fit control L to clear screen. Now connect to MariaDB sudo MariaDB. See, we have connected. The first step after connecting to MariaDB is we have to set the password for root user. So, use the command alter user. Localhost. I will keep this command in the video description. Identified by See, you have successfully set the password for root user. Exit. Now connect to MariaDB with new password. sudo MariaDB hyphen u username root hyphen p. Hit enter. Then provide the new password. Okay, we have successfully connected. See here, server version is 11.3. Even you can FA the same. Select version. 
see we have installed MariaDB version 11.3.2 control L to clear screen but see here it is showing database name as none which means we haven't selected the database yet let us verify the list of the databases so databases see these are the default databases let me create a database create database after schools hit enter now show databases switch to this new database to replace this now control it to clear screen use after schools before it was now now we are in after schools suppose if you create a table those that will be saved in this database let us verify the list of the tables show tables see i don't have any tables so let me create a table in this date database create table student we have created a table let me verify see there is one table let us insert some data into this table control l insert into table name student values 100 see something went wrong control l control c again control c again on the same query See already it is inserted successfully. Let us verify data. Select star from student. See one row is inserted. Insert one more row. Replace name with someone something else. James. And give the other number. Let us verify the data again. Select star from student. See we have successfully inserted two rows. Control L to clear screen. Now verify the list of the users. Select user from mysql dot user. See I have these users. Those are the default users comes with MariaDB installation. So create user, create user James identified by provide password for this user. is done now we again verify the users we can't get the users by running the show users it will throw error but only we have to run this query against mysql.users see new user is created let let me try to connect to this user to mariadb okay exit from the mariadb you can exit from mariadb by running the command exit control l give the sudo my mariadb hyphen u then new username then hyphen p provide then password for this user see how we connected with new user let us verify the current users see i connected with james user okay now try to connect to after schools it will throw error because this user doesn't have the permissions even we cannot create the database also create database test see we don't have the permission to create the database okay exit last step that we are going to see is how to stop start and restart the mariadb on debian 12 operating system sudo systemctl stop mariadb it is stopped let us verify replace this stop with status see mariadb services inactive or dead okay which means it is stopped q to quit control and to clear screen let us start it again hit enter now verify again see mariadb service is started control l to clear screen now restart the mariadb service just replace this status with restart hit enter it is done verify again see mariadb service is started q to quit control l to clear screen so in this video we have seen how to download and install mariadb 11.3 on Debian 12 operating system but the process is same on all Debian versions for more MariaDB or MySQL or Linux tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you